Hey guys, welcome to Tutorial Tuesday. My name is Adam, and today I'm going to show you how to play the 007 theme song, the James Bond theme. So we're going to start uh, by, I'm going to show you what you're going to be able to do by the end of this tutorial. You'll be able to do this. Okay, maybe we'll even add some strumming that uh, you could also do some cool stuff like. Also, you can rock out to it later on. Okay, so uh, let's get started with the very basics. Um, it's a really fun song to learn, it's not that hard. Um, it's good solo to learn some cool strumming and picking techniques in it as well. So we're going to start on the top two strings, strings one and two. And you just go open, it's always going to be alternating with the open first string. And you're just going to go on frets open and then one and two on the second string. So just... I would suggest picking down, up, down, up. Okay, so that's the first part. The second part is back uh, going to, down to the sixth string now. We're going to go. So that's open, and then down, up, down, down. Open, open, open. Open, down, up, down, down. And then you can mute it with your hand because you don't want that to ring out. You want to hear. Okay, so I would mute it there. Okay, so it goes up to three, and then it makes its way back to two. Okay. And the last time before it goes into the chorus forever, um, it actually goes, or you can do just these fingers too, whatever is more comfortable, but it actually goes, then it goes on the next part, which is on the 5th string, 6th fret to the 5th fret, you can do a pull off maybe, or you can play both of them, or you could slide it, I think I slide it. And there's another part. Um, you know, with slides and pull-offs, it's all, you know, just a stylistic thing that makes it kind of sound smooth and, and flowing, but, I mean, you could always play everything individually. <laughs> yeah, I missed it. Okay, or you could go. Or. Whatever you feel like, so. So 6-5 on the 5th string, and then 7-5-7 seven, seven on the 6th string. 7-5-7. Seven, seven. And comes up here, we're going to go uh, on the ninth fret of the 3rd string, then the 8th fret of the 2nd string, the 11th fret of the 1st string, 10th uh, fret of the 1st string. I think I do a slide there. Next part, 12th fret of the 3rd string, 11th fret of the 2nd string, 12th fret of the 2nd string. I think I do a, a hammer on, on the 2nd string there. Make sure that you do some vibrato. Whenever you're just staying on the note and you're not really doing anything, you're just holding it, put some vibrato on, you know. Gives it some attitude. Alright, so uh, next part, or this part is kind of tricky, you got to do a hammer on and a pull off on the 2nd string, 
from the eighth fret to the tenth fret. So there's a hammer on and the pull off. Remember, you have to pull across the string. You actually kind of like plucking the string when you let go of it. If you just let go, you're not going to hear much, but you actually have to pluck the string when you let go. Yeah, but you don't want to hit anything else. And then play again on the seventh fret now. And then, uh, so on the fourth string, ninth fret, third string, ninth fret, and then slide that down to the sixth fret on the third string. Okay, then it repeats the same thing. This time it goes. Ninth fret of the fourth string, uh, eighth fret of the third string, ninth fret of the third string. Okay, then comes uh, the uh, this part. I usually start strumming around the twelfth fret. It makes it sound kind of more mellow and changes the uh, the tone a little bit. So you're just gonna do uh, just those open. Just we're just gonna be playing the top three strings. This whole part, strings three, one, two, and three. We're just gonna bar those all and just go down, up, mute, down, up, mute, up, down, up, down, down, up. When we go up to this one, uh, I bar. You can bar all of them or just the those uh, top two, but. You, Either way, you want uh, your middle finger to be on the fourth fret of the third string. Okay, then we have the. Okay, so we put our pinky on the seventh fret of the first string. We're going to put our uh, index finger on the 4th fret of the 3rd string. It's a bit of a stretch. The good news is you want to mute the 2nd string. So with the index finger, I'm lightly touching the 2nd string, just so it's muted. So it's muted. And you're just going to strum through all 3 strings. You're only going to hear the octave. Here you go. Down, up. And then you can let go with the index finger. And uh, I just put my ring finger on the 7th fret of the 6th string. And then it ends with a quick down, up, up, down, down. Okay, so that's that whole part. And then uh, I also showed that you can do some cool palm muting stuff. You can just put your hand right by the bridge. You can't go very far away from it. It also just mute everything entirely. You just gotta keep it rested there. Do like an E minor chord, so I'm on the second fret of the uh, fifth string and the fourth string, and then uh, you can just move the the ring finger now, so it's on the third fret of the fifth string now, and then you have to switch fingers around, but eventually you'll be on the fourth fret of the fifth string. I'm only playing these bottom strings, so you can do some. And if you want to strum the whole chord, you go E minor, and then C, and then uh, this next one's tricky, you're going to go the ring finger, or maybe put a pinky there on the 4th fret, and then on the 2nd fret of the 4th string, and you're also going to need a finger on the 2nd fret of the 2nd string. Okay, so that's the tutorial for the James Bond theme. I hope you guys liked it. Please subscribe, and I hope you'll uh, stick with me for more tutorials. See ya. Have a good week.